Today, what I wanna do is expand on what we did last stream with my projects area on my website and click it, click it? No, <laughs> what's the word? Connect it with GitHub. Let's... Right. I added this projects area to my website last stream and it's great. It's powered by Contentful. They all have GitHub repos, right? I wanna get the stars and the forks to display here. So for example, when you have the stars and the forks, just for fun, right? To FA gets in my way. <laughs> GraphQL API Explorer, authorize GitHub. Repository, and what are my parameters? Name, oh cool. Arguments, name, owner, and on the repository I can get Fork count. Is it stargazers? Stargazer count. Okay, cool. That's what I want to get. Did this doc help you? Yes. To match the behavior of the GraphQL Explorer, request the following scopes. Okay, so I need to create a personal access token. I won't take long to develop this last words. You're right. We're going to get the Git Hub repo name. Is that what I called it? And we have the GitHub repo name in our data. Yay, GraphQL. I'm going to create a GitHub API class. Export default class GitHub. Call the GitHub GraphQL API. So let's get a personal access token. Generate token. I'm glad I kept my screen hidden because they just show it to you. Copy that and put it into my env file. Next. This is my endpoint. It remains constant no matter what operation you perform. So what we wanna do here, get repo forks and stars. We're gonna pass in repo name. My query is this. So response is this called GitHub with the query console log out the response. Right, here we go. There's my data. I'm gonna return response.data.repository. <laughs> Did it. So first of all, we have the GitHub repo name. So what I can do here is I'm gonna put a second link. View on GitHub. Okay, there are my things. So let's get a, the GitHub star, shall we? Because you know, anything in the DOM is open source. There it is, that little octo star. There's a little star. And let's get the fork. I'll make this look good. Okay, let's turn that into a little thing. I think I can, I can release this. The only problem with that is those repo stars will not update unless I re- <gasps> This is what I need to do. Oh, I've just thought of something. Those GitHub stars and forks will not update unless I rebuild the site. However, I'm going to use incremental static regeneration. Too excited about that. So let's test it live. We're gonna to go to the projects page and we're gonna do this. So return props and revalidate. And I'm gonna revalidate this every five seconds. So let's push that change and let's watch incremental static regeneration at work. It's mind blowing. This is gonna change our life. Next.js is gonna automatically rebuild my page every time you create, you star a repo. New features. Git push, right. So when this is deployed, it's gonna be magic. Yes, Vercel next will automatically rebuild the projects page only. Can you go and star one of these repos, please? Ah, look at it. And it's, but it's still statically generated. It's still statically generated. Oh, and it's revalidating. I am so happy. I could cry. It just works. And it's still statically generated. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't build the whole site and that's why it's fast. It's not going off to Contemple and getting all of my blog posts and stuff. Just getting the projects. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Somebody makes a request to the site and then next validates the data. And then it checks it and it says, has this changed on that first request? So that first user may see out of date data, but they see data because it's statically generated. So then what happens is Vassell goes and rebuilds that. And then the next user, if it's built in time, will see the up to date data. Such a time to be alive, such a time. Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs>